Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. This is another episode where I'm going to discuss another very important Microsoft Fabric update with you. Now, Microsoft Fabric supports external data sharing. And what is it? And why do we need it? Well, if you would like to know, you would get to know in this video. So please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about external data sharing and how you can enable it. Before that, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you always stay updated with our latest videos and contents. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. Well guys, we are living in a world where data is the most precious commodity. And companies are becoming the data company. They are doing a lot of data analytics, machine learning, and even going for the Gen AI. In this world, data sharing is becoming another best practice that people want to do it. And when it comes to sharing the data with the external people, then it becomes quite difficult. Either you have to copy the data or you have to find some other ways or you have to export it, something like that. But Microsoft Fabric is revolutionizing the way we share the external data. Now, in Microsoft Fabric, you can share data with your external clients or B2B. That means you can share data cross-tenant. And how we can do that? Well, for that, you have to make certain settings over there. Recently, Microsoft Fabric has launched public preview of external data sharing. There are certain prerequisites. For example, if you would like to use this external data sharing functionality, then you have to enable in the admin tenant settings for both the tenant. For example, myself from BI Consulting Pro, I want to share data with some another company. Then in both the tenants, I have to enable it. Also, once I'm going to share with that another company, that another company also has to accept that request. And then that's going to go towards their fabric tenant over there and they have to just follow the information over there. And you will get this, all the information while we are doing a small demo over there. But I don't have any other tenant, but I'm going to still show you that what you can do over here. All right. Apart from that, there are certain prerequisites as well. And what are those? First of all, this can be done for your data warehouse, lake house, KQL database, and some of the middle databases. And whenever, if by chance I'm saying one lake to one drive, please understand both are the same. So sharing data via OneDrive is a very common practice among the organizations. But now we don't need to copy the data anymore and we can just directly share via using this new preview feature. So let me show you over there. If I'm on my desktop over here, go to your admin settings. So let's go to the admin portal over here. So first of all, if you would like to enable it into your own organization, then you should be a admin or global admin over there for Microsoft Fabric. That's what only then you can see those settings. So let's go over there where I'm the global admin. I can go to this admin portal and here I can search it external data sharing. Over here, you are going to find this option external data sharing, which is in public preview right now. And here I have already enabled for my entire organization. However, you can also enable this only for certain people if you would like to and you want to try it out. Now, another point, once you enable it, it would take some time so that these settings can be available, not instantly, because for me, it took some time. And do remember that this is a public preview feature. It's still not generally available. That means you may need to wait to operationalize in the production environment. There are lots of updates are gonna come in this one, which I'm gonna talk about a bit later. So once you enable it, then you can simply navigate to any of your workflows or any of your fabric items that you have created. For example, your KQL database, lake house, warehouse, etc. I'm gonna come over here, which is my lake house. So if I'm gonna right click it over here, you would find this option, external data share preview. Use this option to share the data in this lake house with the people outside your organization. That means another fabric tenant where you can share it. So you have to simply click it over here. Then you have to select your folders, files, etc. what you really want to share with the people. Over here, you can share the folder over here. For example, I'll just select this one and then I can save and continue over there. This dialog box is going to open that you can see on your screen. Here you have to type people's email address. For example, I'll just say BI Consulting Pro. And then if I would like to type a message, hey, can you check my data? And then I can send it. Here I can also copy it. I can send by email. I can also buy Teams. And PowerPoint option is still not there over here. So don't mind that one. But this is the way that you can share your data with some other tenant people. And you can take the leverage of this new feature over here. But as I mentioned, like always, there are some limitations when the public preview feature is coming. So Microsoft is going to bring public API soon so that more developers can work on that and they can customize it. Next to that, they are going to work on multi-folder sharing. 
or some new features also there. Once you click on this send button or you just share the link with them via the Teams or via email, then they are gonna receive one email. With that email, they have to click and accept. They means the external tenant people over there. So they have to accept it, they have to select a location and then they can view this data that you are sharing with them. Also do remember that once you share it and they accept it, you also gonna have an option to revoke share like you can see now on your screen. So this is the way that you can do external data sharing with the other tenant people or externally to your vendor or B2B business, etc. Well, this is not it. Microsoft is soon going to bring public API for a better development experience. Not only that, in the future, you may be able to share more than one folder or table and better governance and monitoring is also going to be the part of this external data sharing. What do you think guys about it? Do you like it? You want to try it? Or you have any feedback for this one? Please do let us know in the comment section. Also, if you're looking for any Power BI or Microsoft Fabric training programs, you would like to get some of the consulting services or some career guidance, please don't forget to contact with us. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share this video with your friends and colleagues, and stay tuned for more updates. I'm gonna see you soon in the next video.